Nicole here with Hidden Oaks and we're out in the woods today. If you have watched our channel at all, then you know that I really enjoy being out in the woods and foraging. I went out on a walk the other day and I ran into a shrub, um, pretty big, about six, eight foot tall, and it had these bright purple berries on it. Did not know what it was. I looked it up and it turns out it's an American beauty berry. So for any of you who don't know, they are native to the US and they grow hardness zones three through eight. So basically they're everywhere. And um, I thought they might be poisonous because they're really pretty. And one rule I learned from my grandparents growing up is if they look too pretty, they're probably poisonous. So don't eat them. They're not. They're edible. So we're going to go out and pick some and see what we can make with them. As you can see, they they kind of grow all over the place. We're going to stick with what grows on the side of the road because I don't want to get into this thick woodlands too much because we got a lot of snakes here. So I don't want to really mess with it too much and go too deep into it. But we're going to stick to the side of the road and harvest these and see how it goes. So one thing we always want to do in Florida is wear gloves because we got spiders everywhere and they're not always friendly. We picked a bunch of berries and I tried to eat one last week because once I found out they're not poisonous I wanted to give it a try and basically what Uncle Google says about it is that they're really bitter once they're ripe um, and that's why wildlife kind of leaves them alone until there's nothing else to eat which is great for the people who like to eat them um, so I tried it the other day they really don't have a taste to them they don't taste bitter they don't taste sour they just kind of taste like water really bland but apparently you can make really good jelly and wine out of them so i want to give the jelly a try and see how they turn out and um, see how we like it i'll definitely let you know i'll do a taste test and uh, let you know how it turns out and uh, see what else we can do with this the leaves Where's the camera? There it is. See the leaf? So it kind of has a citronella smell to it when you rub it. And apparently it keeps mosquitoes away. And that's why people plant them in their yard. So we'll try that out. There's tons more out there, so if we wanted more, there's plenty there to get more. But right now I'm happy with what I have. I want to try out a jelly recipe and we'll see how it turns out. For six cups of beautiful berries. We're gonna go ahead and smash them and bring them to a boil with, with about eight cups of water.
this is how it looks like after we strained all the pulp out of it. So now this is going back in the pot. We're adding sugar and pectin and then we're ready to put it in the glasses. It's about time to fill these mason jars up. So um, we're about to take it off the burner and put it in there. I doubled up a little bit on the strainer just to get um, any kind of particles out so that it's nice and clear when it sets. We went ahead and disinfected our mason jars by boiling them in hot water and everything is ready to go. So let's see how this turns out. On a process for five minutes and after they come out of this water bath we are going to let them sit for 24 hours to set. The jelly has settled and we're ready to try it so I'm gonna put the kids to the test and have them have a taste test. Here goes the real test. How did our beauty berry jelly turn out? Go. It tastes good. Not too sweet, not too bitter. Sugar. Beauty berries, which are water. Delicious. Well, here we go. It's a success. The kids love it. The jelly set well. It tastes good. And all we needed is to do some foraging in the forest. Berries were for free. Water came for, for free from our well. The only investment really that we had in this was sugar and gelatin. And I buy this in bulk. So really we didn't spend much money on this uh, to try this out. This is definitely something that we will do again. And I will try out some other recipes as well. So if you have recipes on um, how to use the French mulberry or American beauty berry, how they're called, um, with other things, let me know. I would love to try it out. I think I'm gonna try to make some wine next time. I saw some great recipes on that, so I will try that out and show you. But let me hear from you. Also, if you are in the same area we are, we are in Northwest Florida, in the Panhandle, let me know if you go out foraging what you find, because I would love to hear from you 
and uh, see what else I can find out there. I love to go into the woods. So as long as I don't poison my husband or kids, we'll be good. So let me know. Um, thanks for joining in and watching us. We'll see you in the next video. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you won't hear about when the new videos come out. And then we'll see you next time. Bye.